All right, so I made I made a mistake of layer organization and then had to re redesign the assets of the eyes, right? Because I'm looking at my stage and you can always use command zero to frame everything up the same. So this was the the last, let's get to the last frame. This is the last frame I had. And now I need the eyes to be in basically this position. I'm going to make a duplicate of that cat head without the eyes just in case. And now I'm going to turn on those eyes, find that position. There we go. Turn on the highlight, see if that matches. That matches. Good. And now this is my next frame. So how do I move this frame over? I know this is a question a lot of students have over and over again, and you just get used to it by doing it for yourself, but I'll walk you through it. So once you've built your next animation frame in your assets file, I like to save it then, especially if I've built new assets. So I just hit Command S. But then you go to Layer, Flatten Image. And that should scare you because you lose all of your layers. And it will show you in your history that you flatten the image. But all you have to do to unflatten it is click in your history right before you flattened it. So why do we have to flatten it? We have to flatten it so that we can select it all. Because we don't want to copy over 20 layers. We want to just get everything flattened like a camera does for a Tim Burton scene in stop motion animation. And then we want to copy it all. So once you say select all, then you go to edit copy. And then you can go, once it's copied onto the clipboard, you can click in your history to before you flattened it. Then you go to your stage, you go to your top layer in your stage, and you're going to say edit paste. And that will put in your next animation frame. So you see how the eyes subtly changed there? It's actually kind of cool. You get a little lighting difference on the eyes that now will be consistent with this new fish. I'm going to save my stage. The one mistake you do not want to make, because there's really no coming back from it easily, is if you flatten your image on your assets, and then you save it. That would be bad. You would lose all your assets. So, now I'm in my assets file again. I'm going to build my fish again or reposition it. I already have it placed. Now I need to move the eyes. I already have these as a separate layer, right? The eyes now moving back. This is my layer. Pretty simple. So now I'm going to say layer, flatten image, scary, command A to select it all, command C to copy it all, then click in your history before you flattened your image. And now go to my stage and command V to paste it in. And we start again. Now my eyes are going to be here, and the fish I want to use is going to be here. Very good. There's that little bit of debris around the fish, and you shouldn't, you don't need to be nitpicky, but what happens when you see something moving, if that little debris line is there, you won't see it in a still image, but when it's moving, you will see it, right? Because our eyes track movement very well. Okay, now I'm, I'm there. This is ready. So what do I do? I tend to save it first because I've set up my next frame. So just Command S. Then I say Layer Flatten Image. And then I Command A to select it all. Command C to copy it all. Click before I flatten the image. Move to my stage and paste it in. And at any time, I can kind of test the animation on my stage. And you know what? I'm seeing this, and then this is my next frame. And it's too abrupt. I need to add a frame where there's nothing except his eyes. So that's why we go back and we can recreate frames. So we can create in-betweens if needed. 
Come on, work with me. So right after this, there, I need to make a new layer 12, right? So I'm going to use this. And before I go to my last frame, I'm going to move my cat's eyes. And that's all I need is just this frame on its own. So what do I do? I say layer, flatten image, command A, command C, click before I flatten the image, go to my stage, command V, paste it in. So now it's going to go like this. The fish flies off, and another fish comes in. Photo P is a little bit delayed, but that's where I ended up. Okay, good. Now I need to recreate that frame. It's already there because I went before I flattened. And move on to the next. And this is the fun one. This is what I've been working up towards. Where I turn off the eyes and show this one. So I'm going to flatten this image. First I'll save it. Layer flatten. Select all. Command A is the shortcut. Edit Command C, which is copy. Go to before I flatten the image in my history. Move to my stage. Go to my top layer in my stage. And edit paste or Command V. Okay, now this fish is going to get sucked in. So not only does the head open up, but this fish is actually going to get sucked in like my inspiration. Right there. So how can I do that? I can use warp. Puppet warp is not great in Photo P. I can use it. I can show you how to use it. But just, it can be clumsier. It can just be warp. So I, I need to go to my assets first and recreate this image. Just like that. It should match. Yep, looks good. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate that fish. And it's not going to get to swim off. Instead, I'm going to say edit puppet warp because as soon as his mouth opens, there's going to be a suction that starts and i'm gonna let's see pin it there pin it here pin it here and i'm going to start with it pulling at the tail right. and stretch it kind of like that hit return so what's the difference it goes from this to this it gets stretched out now I want to shrink it a little bit, so I'm going to do Command-T, not Command-T, Option-Command-T, because I'm in Photo-P. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to warp. I'm going to start shrinking that tail, so it's like it's getting sucked into a vortex. So this is called Squash and Stretch. So instead of just moving it backwards as it is, I'm going to first stretch it, and then I'm going to have it kind of slingshot back into his mouth. And I'm just going to leave the cat as it is. So we're focused on the, the fish transformation. So what do I do? I say layer, flatten image. I select all. I copy all, command C. I go back before I flatten the image in my history. And then I paste it to the top of my stage. So it starts kind of slow. And then, just like the Terry Gilliam inspiration, it's going to speed up. So for my next one, here, let me save my stage. And then I can run an animation test because now I'm getting to this last row.
I'm trying not to be too ambitious. So, what's going to happen now? I duplicate that fish. Maybe I already did. Nope, not yet. Command J. Come on, photo P. Keep up with me. Good. Okay, there's the duplicate. Then I'm going to... Let's just warp it instead of puppet warp. So option command T for free transform, right click, warp, tug the fish in more, and then really slingshot the rest of the fish back. So it's getting like pulled from a vortex in. This is the squish part. Okay, but now I need to angle it and shrink that tail so it's going to go down the mouth. The ambitions of the animation can change as you're working on it. So this fish is really getting distorted. And I hope that it's fun when it's animated. All right, the other thing I can do is I can add to the fish, or not to the fish, to the cat, a little portion of it like this that I duplicate and then I can move this up above the fish's tail so it's like it's actually getting sucked down his throat All right so this is going to cover it up I'll mark that as blue just on top of everything okay this is my next frame so I'm going to go pretty fast. I say layer, flatten image, command A, command A, command C. It's a little tricky with Photo P if it's keeping up with you. Go to my stage, command V, go back to my assets, go before I flattened. And then pick it up from there. Okay, this needs to go really fast now because I've been spending a little bit too long with this sucking up this fish. Mouth opens really quick and then all of a sudden gets sucked in. Now it has to really disappear. So I'm going to make a duplicate of that fish. There's that duplicate and I'm going to free transform it, edit free transform, or option command T. And now I'm going to actually shrink it. And angle it a little bit. And pull it back. And now I'm going to warp it by right clicking inside the transform box. And then tugging all this to go down that mouth hole. Poor fish. And then I'm going to save it. I'm going to flatten it. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to copy it all. I'm going to go before I flattened it. Go to my stage, and I'm going to paste it. My only problem is this edge. I don't love it. How can I fix it? I can fix it here. And let's see. I'll fix it by just softening that curve a little bit. like this, select inverse, deselect all of this, 